iOS 10 has been out for barely a week and already we're on to our second update, so thanks to Super Mina for the heads up in the video comments. And yes, as part of the Video Gadgets Journal service, I will download iOS 10.0.2 and do a fresh install of Airshow and test to make sure that it still works so that you can do the same. Now the update itself looks fairly innocuous, two bug fixes to the headphones audio and photos in iCloud, but we'll have to go through the usual process of installing the iOS 10 update and then restarting the device. And with the wonders of video editing, that takes literally seconds. So to confirm, my software is now updated to iOS 10.0.2, so it's time to do a fresh install of Airshow. And I always recommend going to savagepool.com to get the latest version of Airshow, which should be the most stable and reliable as well. And just in case you're new to all this Airshow downloading business, if you try and launch it straight away, you'll get an untrusted enterprise developer error. To fix that, you go to Settings, General, scroll down to the bottom to find Profile and Device Management, then tap on the certificate, whatever it's called, then the blue words and the red Trust pop-up button, and if all's gone well, you should be able to launch Airshow and you'll get in. So this is proof that on iOS 10.0.2, you can download Airshow and launch it. Now, those of you who are more perceptive may have seen that I was actually using Airshow to download Airshow because I have an older version of my device. So this is a test with the new version of Airshow, but I did just want to point out that you still have the playback issue. You'll have noticed here two videos at the bottom which are gray. They have no thumbnails. That's because playback is still not working on videos with Airshow. There is a fix for that and you can click on screen now to fix that issue, but we still have that playback issue of iOS 10 on Airshow. But that pretty much wraps up this video. To summarize, Airshow still works on iOS 10.0.2 with the known playback issue, which still needs to be fixed by the developers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more iOS screen recording content, I do stuff pretty much daily, so you should subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.